The movie begins with a young boy named Jason playing music for a video released on a social media site. Jason lies with his family and is a popular boy for the videos he posts on social media. The next day, Jason and his sister Zoe finish school and go with their mom and dad to the Catholic school where they attend summer school. When they get there, a new teacher named Sophie has come to this school. She used to be a teacher at a different school, but now she has moved to this school. Sister Rebecca, the principal of the school, takes Sophie on a tour. While they are walking, Sophie sees Jason and feels drawn to him. After this, Sophie goes to her room, starts watching Jason's videos, and kisses the screen of her laptop. That's when we find out that Sophie already knows Jason. The following day in class, Sophie notices Sarah chatting with Jason, which stirs feelings of jealousy within her. She moves Sarah to a different seat so that she won't be near Jason. Instead, she tells Zoe to say a prayer. Only nuns say morning prayers, but Sophie doesn't know how to pray, so she stays quiet during that time. After class, she approaches Jason and asks if Sarah is his girlfriend. Jason says no, she is just a really good friend of his. Sophie feels happy when she hears this. The next day, when she sees Jason and Sarah kissing, she grips her cross tightly in anger until her hand starts to bleed. Sophie is acting crazy, and she will do anything to be with Jason. After class, Sophie asks Jason why he told her that Sarah is just his friend. When that wasn't true, Jason didn't know what to say. Sophie asks Jason to come over to her house after school. She says that she has something important to discuss with him. When Jason goes to see Sophie in her room, her door is fully open. Sophie is getting dressed. Sophie did all this on purpose to make Jason like her. Jason keeps glancing at Sophie but leaves without talking to her. Jason goes to his room and thinks about Sophie being with him all night. Sophie successfully got Jason's attention. Another day, when Jason was on his way domestic for the end of the week, Sophie saw Jason and Sarah talking and gets to be exceptionally desirous. She at that point inquires for takeoff from Sister Rebecca saying that her close relative is debilitated and she should go see her. Sophie arrives at Jason's house at night. She stows away and sees Jason. Fair at that point Jason gets a call from Sarah. Sophie feels awful seeing this and she gets at that. In a range to have Jason, she must to begin with partition Sarah from him. She at that point furtively puts the weed in Sarah's book. And the following day in lesson, when Sarah opens the book, Sophie catches Sarah with the weed and tells all this to Sister Rebecca. Sister Rebecca puts Sarah on hold. Sophie hides a bottle of alcohol in Jason's room. When everyone's rooms are checked, a bottle of alcohol is found in Jason's room. The principal was about to suspend Jason as well. Sophie tells him that Jason should have another opportunity. The principal doesn't suspend Jason after hearing her, but as a punishment, he has to help all the teachers. Sophie was doing well in her efforts to win Jason over and she was getting him to come closer to her. In this part, we find out that Sophie's real name is Laura, and she has a lot of money. Since she watched Jason's videos, she became really in love with him, and wanted to be with him no matter what. That's why she murders Jason's real teacher, Sophie, and then pretends to be a nun at his school. When all the students are leaving for the weekend, Sophie asks Jason to stay at the school. The next day, while Jason is at work, Sophie approaches him, and tries to get his attention. That night, while Jason is sleeping in his room, Sophie goes in and tries to flirt with him. But Jason thinks it's not right, so he stops Sophie from doing it. But after Sophie pushes him, he gets close to her. Sophie had saved all this on her phone. The following day, Jason feels bad because he treated his teacher poorly. On the other hand, Sophie wanted to remove Zoe from the situation because Joe was always watching Jason and Sophie. That's why she purposely gives Zoe low grades on the test, which makes Zoe sad. Sophie tells Zoe that she will let her try the test again. She then calls Zoe by herself. After class, Sophie puts the answer sheet on top, 
When Zoe arrives, she grabs the answer sheet instead of the question paper. Sophie says Zoe cheated on the test and goes to Sister Rebecca to ask her to suspend Zoe. But Sister Rebecca knew that Zoe was a smart student, so she gave Zoe another chance. Sophie's plan to catch Zoe doesn't succeed. After Sophie goes, Zoe tells Sister that Sophie doesn't have good intentions. But the sister thought Zoe was saying this out of anger. That's why she doesn't notice her much. The next day, Jason goes to church to confess his sins. At that moment, Sophie arrives and grows close to Jason. The other day on the weekend, a dad from another school visits their school. When Sophie sees him, she hides because he knows the real her. Sophie, worried about getting caught, tells sister Rebecca that her aunt is sick, so she is going to visit her. Then, she leaves. Meanwhile, Jason gets a message from Sarah. She asks Jason to come to her house party. Sarah kisses Jason at the party, but Jason is only thinking about Sophie, so he walks away. A police officer stops him outside because he was too young to drink alcohol. Just then, Sophie arrives and helps him. Then Sophie brings him with her, takes off her clothes in front of Jason, and starts trying to attract him. Then she wants to be close to him, but Jason stops her from doing that. He tells Sophie that he doesn't love her and feels really sorry for the things he has done to her. After saying this, he walks away. Sophie gets really angry. The next day, Sister Rebecca takes Sarah back to school. Sophie becomes really mad when she sees her. Then, she gets really mad when she sees Sarah and Jason together. She asks Jason to not be near Sarah but Jason ignores her. That night, Sophie goes to Sarah's room while Sarah is taking a shower. She attacks Sarah and hurts her badly. She makes it look like Sarah slipped and fell, making everyone believe that's how Sarah died. Jason knows that Sophie is the person who killed Zoe. Sophie gives Jason an ultimatum be in a relationship with her or else. She will make his video popular, where they were being close to each other. This really frightens Jason, and when he gets home, all he can think about is it. Zoe sees that Jason looks upset about something. She asks Jason about it. Jason talks to her about his relationship with Sophie and mentions that Sophie is threatening him. After watching the video, Zoe decides to reveal Sophie's secret to everyone. The next day, Jason and and Zoe sneak into Sophie's room to look at her laptop. Then they find out that Sophie's real name is Laura. They also find pictures of Jason on her laptop. Sophie asks Sister Rebecca for time off because her aunt has died. When Sister Rebecca calls the hospital, she finds out that none of her aunts have died. Sophie was not telling the truth. The other day, when Rebecca asks Sophie about it, Sophie hits her and makes her faint. Zoe and Jason go to tell Rebecca about Sophie but they can't find her. Then they go to the church to look for her. Sophie goes there too. Zoe tells her that they now know her secret. As they begin to leave, Sophie strikes Zoe. She was going to hurt her. At that moment, Rebecca rushes in from behind and catches her. But Sophie starts to choke Rebecca. Then Jason stabs Sophie with a screwdriver and she dies. The movie ends here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.